Hey guys, Matt here for Photo News and Reviews. If you're a photographer and you're into your gear, you end up owning a lot of different bags. And it's kind of like some people say with their handbags or their other kind of bags, you need one for every different kind of situation. I'm pretty firmly of that belief too. I have a whole range of backpacks, shoulder bags, and roller bags. And I've finally gotten myself a roller bag, which is just epic in size. Okay, so I love a roller bag. I'm more likely to be going in urban locations or going to people's homes or going to studios than I am to be trekking a mountain. So my collection of bags is leaning more and more towards rollers and then shoulder bags as a secondary thing and backpacks less and less so. I have a couple of great rollers that I really like, but if I'm taking a big load of gear along, I find myself taking two of them. Um, for small jobs, small rollers are great. For jobs where I need a whole bunch of gear, then a really big roller would come in handy. And check out this monster. This is the Low Pro Pro Roller X300. It's the biggest one in their range, and it's absolutely a monster. Let me give you a look through this one. Okay, now when I say this is big, I mean it's like epically huge. If you're looking for a small bag, this is not it. If you're looking for a cheap bag, this is not it. If you're looking for something, you know, exceptionally lightweight, this is not it. But if you're looking for an enormous bag that fits a lot of gear, is built with really good construction, has things like this TSA lock and a bunch of other features I'll run through, then this is the bag for you. Looking at the front to start off, this part is billowed. So you can actually fit a whole bunch of gear in there. Then it has a second zip section, which again, you'll fit a gang of stuff in there. You can probably fit a full laptop in there by itself. All of the finishing on this one is at their most premium level. So even all the badging and stuff is nice. The handles are really reinforced and padded. And this does have a little section here that you can pull out to attach your tripod to the bottom. As I mentioned on the side, it has a full TSA lock with a combination. You pull out the wire, and then you wrap that through the latches and then you can lock it down securely and you know that's uncuttable steel but it is airport checkable which is quite cool. The wheels on this one aren't that wide. I have the Pro Runner light though and I've always found that they do really well. Uh, I haven't taken too much wear and tear despite how much I use them. Something unique to this guy, it has a little kickstand so you can lean the bag back on that and support it uh, when you're, so that you can work out of it. And another really interesting thing, and I haven't seen this on any other roller bag, correct me if I'm wrong, is that this guy has on the roller handle, well, first of all, it's got two locks, one on each side, but then under this nameplate is a section with a tripod thread. So you can actually put a, a tripod mount on there and use that as like, a light stand or to attach a really lightweight DSLR using your bag as the tripod. Okay, now that's all well and good, but at the end of the day, you buy a bag like this because of its enormous storage capacity. So let's take a look in this guy. Okay, now you can see we're really talking about a big bag here. This will hold one or two full-size DSLRs with a lens attached. So we're talking, you know, like a 1DX or a Nikon D4. You could put 50 of them in here if you just had them without lenses attached. But two with lenses attached and then another eight to 10 pro grade lenses in here, no problem, easy. And then you've also got the option to put a full laptop in here and up to a 17 incher. Um, all of the padding, of course, is adjustable, it's got the tripod strap in here, the little tripod foot in here, and it's all, you know, the normal sort of high quality build that you expect from a low pro bag. Taking a look at the inside cover, again, it's rather epically proportioned with four different media wallets there, two huge cutout sections, and then more for all of your personal gear. Pockets, pockets, pockets. You will never run out of pockets with this damn bag, seriously. And just, and you might notice the second zipper there, that's not to give it an expanding section like your luggage. You can actually zip out that whole compartment and then have it as a separate backpack 
and then have the other bag to, you know, put light stands in or carry all your clothes around in. So seriously, a huge bag. I really think that I could fit all of Tina into that bag without even having to dismember her first. Um, I'm really looking forward to using that one. It's unlikely that I would take it on a plane. I'd use smaller ones and then I carry things in a shoulder bag or in with my camera bag, uh, in with my computer bag, sorry, so I can get around having it weighed. But for jobs where I'm gonna be going interstate or you know going to a location where a roller is suitable, but I wanna take a whole bunch of stuff but not be taking multiple different bags, the Pro Roller X300 I think is gonna get a big workout from me. Uh, it, you know, it's built to work. And as I said, it's not cheap. You are paying a premium for such a big and well-built bag. It's more aimed at professionals. That's why it's the Pro Roller, not the for shits and giggles roller, I guess. Um, leave me any questions or comments. If you're using a roller, let us know which one it is and how you find it. And I'll see you soon for more photo news and reviews.